Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm going to walk you through the 30, 60, 90 day sales plan template that I've used when talking to um, CEOs and executive teams at early stage B2B SaaS companies in the Series A to Series C range. And so um, I'll walk you through each slide here. But if you're looking to get a job at a uh, an early stage tech company this in a sales or go to market role, this is a great template to take advantage of. So all you need to do is add it to your cart and I'll send you a link to the Google Slides here that you can copy for your own. It will also include links uh, to the, the charts and the tables that are included within here. So let me jump into it. I'm gonna close out this image. All right, so you've got your cover here. Just plug in the company name that you're talking to, your name, the month, and the year. Uh, outline exactly the contents that are in there. So presumably you will sit down in person with them or over Zoom and you will walk them through this deck together of your plan to take their business from where they are today to where they want to get to in the future over the next 12 to 5 years. So that's what this slide is about. It outs outlines what is the monthly revenue growth over the next 12 months. And then what does that look like over the next five year period? And I've got a link to the Excel charts right here for you. Next up is goals and KPIs. You want to you want to demonstrate that you understand that the goals that you're going to be focused on and the KPIs, the key performance indicators that roll up to achieving those goals. So if you move the KPIs, you will achieve those goals. Next up is the demand generation strategy. So you want to have a strategy. It's not it's not good enough to just be the VP of sales. You want to have an opinion on how are you going to go get um, the demand to actually fill your pipeline full enough with um, with real opportunities that convert into close one revenue. And so you want to put together a strategy and ideally you work with a VP of marketing on this. Uh, and so I've, I've linked to the demand and strategy diagram, which you could drop in here specific to their business based on your understanding and the information that you gather throughout your interview process. Next up is the organizational structure. So now that you've outlined the plan and where you're going to be in 12 months, five years from now, the 12 month org uh, chart is very important because you're basically saying uh, they know where they are today, but you're saying 12 months from now, these are all the people that I'm gonna need to hire to go achieve our goals. And then this is the budget that is required to go achieve our goals. And so this outlines the marketing budget on the left-hand side here and the sales budget on the right-hand side. And so if you don't own both functions, maybe it's not necessary, just focus on one and go in a little bit more detail. But if you will own, if you're the CRO or you're the VPL sales and marketing, um, you may need both columns here just to demonstrate that you understand how much it will cost on an annual basis and on a monthly basis. And then you get into the focus for the first 30, 60, 90 days. I'm not going to walk through each one of these because uh, I really do include example content here that you can ideally copy and paste for your example. Um, but it, it says this is what I'm going to focus on month one, two and three, and then gets into a high level plan and then a weekly schedule there. And I do that for all three months. So if you like it, click add to cart. I'll send you a link to this Google uh, slide presentation. You can copy it and customize it for your particular use case. That's it for today. I'll see you soon.